What's up everybody? Welcome to HD Piano. My name is Kale, and in today's lesson we're going over Gymnopédie No. 1 by Eric Satie. Now first up is this part 1 video where we're going to cover the main major melody of this song. Here's how that sounds. So there you have it, a very nice, slow, deliberate piece by Satie. Now this part involves a lot of jumping around in the left hand. So we're going to, for the most part, break this part down by both hands separately. But for the first four bars, we're playing pretty simple chords, so we're going to cover those just at the same time and then jump into the separate hands. So to start off, we're playing a G major 7 chord. We'll play a G with our pointer finger in the left hand on beat 1, and then on beat 2 we're going to follow that up with a B. D and F sharp in the right hand. So a B with our thumb, a D with our pointer, and an F sharp with our ring finger. So we'll play one, two, three on that. And then we're going to move down to a D major seven chord. So we'll play a D with our pinky in the left hand on beat one. And then on beat two, we're going to follow that up with an A with our thumb, a C sharp with our pointer, and an F sharp with our ring finger. So the first four bars are just those two chords, twice. So we have G major 7 to D major 7. And once again. Then after that, our left hand continues this chord pattern, but since our right hand has to jump up here and play the melody, we're going to have to move from our bass note to our chord with the same hand. Now you can do that with the aid of the sustain pedal, that's going to help out a lot, because you'll basically be playing your first note with your pinky, and then jumping up and playing the rest of the chord with the remainder of your hand. So we have a G, and then up to B, D, F sharp. And then we go down to a D, and we go up to A, C sharp, F sharp. And that happens twice. So pretty simple, we have the same four chords for the entire first eight bars of the song. Then after that, we're actually going to continue these same chords again. For another eight bars. So the left hand part, once you've got all the jumping down, is pretty simple. Now let's talk about the right hand melody that's going to fit over top of this. So remember, once we finish playing our chords with both hands, For four bars, our left hand is going to start jumping, and on beat two our right hand melody is going to come in. So here's what the right hand melody is. We're going to start by playing an F sharp on beat two with our middle finger, and an A with our pinky on beat three. So we have one, two, three. Now that's the first bar, and then after that we have a G on beat one with our ring finger, an F sharp on beat 2 with our middle finger, and a C sharp on beat 3 with our thumb. So all in all, that'll sound like this. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. And actually, let's play that C sharp with our pointer finger, because after that we're going to go down to B with our thumb, and we want, we want to be able to reach that. So we have 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Then after that, we have a B on beat 1 with our thumb, our C sharp on beat 2 with our pointer finger, and a D on beat 3 with the middle finger. So we have 1, 2, 3, 2, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, and then we just finish that out with a 1 with our thumb, or rather an A with our thumb. 
So let's try just playing the left hand and the right hand together very slowly on that first melody section. Ready? One, two, three. 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 Just like that. And now for the next four bars, if you'll recall, our left hand is going to do the same thing. It's going to just move between these two chords. But our right hand is going to sustain this F sharp over top of those two chords. So on beat one of the next bar, we're going to play an F sharp with our middle finger at the same time as we play a G in our left hand. And now as we jump up to play these chords, you'll notice that all of the left hand chords have an F sharp too. So we're basically going to play the F sharp, play our left hand chord, and then before we lift up our left hand to play the next chord, put your finger back down on F sharp. So it continues to ring throughout the entire section, even when you lift off the sustain pedal. So go ahead and practice that motion a little bit. We play the F sharp, play our left hand chord, and put our finger back down on F sharp before we lift our hand up to prepare. So that happens for four bars. And then we go back to our, our right hand melody, which will sound like this. One more time, and then we change things up for the final four bars of this verse. So let's go over the left hand part of the final four bars here. We're gonna start with an F sharp with our pinky, and then on beat two, we're going to jump up to our normal A, C sharp, F sharp chord. So we have one, two, three. And then after that, we're gonna go all the way down to this low B and move up to a B minor chord. So we have a low B on beat one, and then on beat two, we have a B, D, F sharp in our left hand with our pinky, middle, and pointer. So F sharp minor to B minor. And then after that, we're going to go down to an E in our left hand with our pinky and move up to a G and B on beat two with our pointer and thumb. And then we're going to hit an E again and just move up to a higher version of that chord, an E minor seven. So we'll have a B with our pinky, a D with our middle finger, and a G with our thumb. And that finishes out this section. So let's just go over our right hand part really quickly and then we'll try the whole thing really slowly. So starting off with our F sharp minor chord in the left hand, in the right hand we're going to be playing a C sharp over top of that. And then after that we're going to move up to an F sharp over top of our B minor chord. So we have C sharp to F sharp. And then let's move down to an E with our thumb and just hold down that E. And when we play this chord, our left hand is gonna cross over the right hand. So just leave your thumb anchored where it is, cross over for the next chord. And there you have it, you've learned the main melody. So let's go ahead and play this really slowly together to make sure you've got all this jumping around. Ready? One, two, three. 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 One. Two, three, one, 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 two, three, one. Two, three. And there you go. Congratulations. You've made it all the way through the first part of Gymnopédie Number no. 1 by Eric Satie. Please consider subscribing below and also following us on Twitter at HGPiano.
You can tweet your lesson requests to us using the hashtag HDRequests. Also, please consider liking us on Facebook where we're posting a bunch of great piano content. Now head over to hdpiano.com, home of the hybrid piano lesson, for part two of this lesson where we cover the counter melody to this song. See you guys over there.